when we first heard about the trip, we wondered if it would be possible for us to go because we don't we don't have skills to build a school or, you know, or to do specific things like that. When we got there, we realized that we would be doing things that anybody could do. My children at the time were six and 11 years old, and that's pretty young. And they were able to do all kinds of things there. Our goal was to, to do this as a family. Uh, none of us had ever been on a mission trip. It was a big adventure for us. It really was. So it was, you know, here we go, God. We're in your hands and let's go and do this. This was my very first time out of the country and I was not scared at all. I was very excited. One of my favorite parts of going on the trip was visiting the different villages. We did a VBS for the kids. One of the most fun things I did is playing with the kids and I liked um, doing the crafts with them and singing the um, Bible songs with them. The trip to the DR was remarkable. To be able to travel with my grandson out of the country and spend a week um, doing God's work was just an awesome um, opportunity. We built a roof out of wood and then we uh, pinned nails into it. And it was, it was hard manual labor, but it was really fun. And also, the Dominicans are very good at basketball, so that was also a very fun part. What prepared me as a dad to be able to feel comfortable with my children going to a place like this was the team meetings and the team preparation prior to. And it's so well done. From the moment you say, I'm in, you will know that you're really in. It's important to us that we put our girls in situations where they're able to see people who don't necessarily live the way they do, who may not look like they do, who may not think that the same way they do. So taking the girls to the Dominican Republic really helped them see that the world is bigger than just their backyard. It helps them to understand that there really are different people out there, but God created them all, and they're all worthy, and they're all valuable. I was looking out my window, and I thought, wow, I really didn't know how blessed I am because God really, he has put a lot of things into my life and I've been so selfish just being, oh, I want more. But when I came back and I'm still like this, I realized that how much, how much less I start to beg because all those kids have nothing. For anyone, who has a child or grandchild that they're thinking, wow, you know, it's, they're hitting their teens. You know, I've got what, five more years before they're out the door? These are the kinds of things that for their entire life and for the rest of yours, you will remember. I made my someday today. I made my someday today. We made our someday today.